Hi, this is TYT Science, and this is our favourite quote. So the story is, all three of us here at TYT Science decided to get together and do a mix-up video of our favourite quotes from science. Five each, intermix them, relatively rapid fire, so without further ado, let's roll. We are all connected to each other, biologically, to the Earth, chemically, to the rest of the universe, atomically. Neil deGrasse Tyson. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Albert Einstein. When, as we must often do, we fear science, we really fear ourselves. Human dignity is better served by embracing knowledge. John Polanyi, 1986, and that was said during his acceptance speech for the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. When people thought the Earth was flat, they were wrong. When people thought the Earth was spherical, they were wrong. But if you think that thinking the Earth is spherical is just as wrong as thinking the Earth is flat, then your view is wronger than both of them put together. Isaac Asimov. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Isaac Newton to Robert Hooke in a letter, 1676. Given the sentiment of debt to master's past, it is actually very ironic that this quote is not Newton's. It first occurs in the literature attributed to Bernard of Chartres by John of Salisbury in 1159, and by Newton's time the expression was quite commonplace. The science of life is a superb and dazzlingly lighted hall which may be reached only by passing through a long, ghastly kitchen. Claude Bernard 1865. The fact that some geniuses were laughed at does not imply that all those who were laughed at are geniuses. They laughed at Columbus. They laughed at Fulton. They laughed at the Wright brothers. But they also laughed at Bozo the Clown. Carl Sagan. The wireless telegraph is not difficult to understand. The ordinary telegraph is like a very long cat. You pull the tail in New York and it meows in Los Angeles. The wireless is exactly the same, only without the cat. Albert Einstein. Science knows no country because knowledge belongs to humanity and is the torch which illuminates the world. Louis Pasteur, 1860. The first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. Richard Feynman. All science is either physics or stamp collecting. Ernest Rutherford. Um, interestingly, this is a good reflection on science at the beginning of the 20th century, and it just goes to show how much the biological sciences have advanced since then. Plain women he regarded as he did the other severe facts of life, to be faced with philosophy and investigated by science. George Eliot, 1869. Now that quote is actually taken from Middlemarch, Miss Eliot's novel, a brilliant observation of Victorian society at the time, and it goes to show that you shouldn't consider plain women, as well as science, as something to be severe and coldly examined. For me, it is far better to grasp the universe as it really is than to persist in delusion, however satisfying and reassuring. Crossing. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Benjamin Franklin. A man does not attain the status of Galileo merely because he is persecuted. He must also be right. Stephen Jay Gould, 1977. This quote was actually taken an essay. Mr. Gould had been writing about a certain individual by the name of Velikovsky, who was advancing this idea that uh, the planet's climate and various changes within the Earth were a result of the gravitational pull of other planets, as well as other various poorly substantiated arguments. His books were actually quite controversial at the, the time and made Velikovsky a lot of money, but what Mr. Gold rightly points out, though, is that it's not enough to simply be provocative or controversial. You must also do go through the hard work of making sure your facts are accurate as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little selection, but I cannot help but be greedy and slip in just one more quote, because it came up at a scientific conference I was at today. 
This is Thomas Henry Huxley. The Great Tragedy of Science. The Slaying of a Beautiful Hypothesis by an Ugly Fact. And that's it, kids. So be sure to tune in next time and cheers. And may the Higgs boson be with you.